Well, Hurricane Nicole certainly left its mark along Hutchinson Island, especially here at Walton Rocks. Officials say the storm pushed tons of sand from the shoreline to the parking lot, leaving beachgoers with nowhere to park safely. It's quiet now, but soon major cleanup efforts will be underway here at Walton Rocks. It's the county's only pet friendly beach park where dogs like Brusa come to enjoy the views and soak up the sun. Yeah, we want to come to the beach, let him run around, make some friends next time, right? Unfortunately, all play dates have come to a pause after Hurricane Nicole left the beach's parking lot impassable. We appreciate everyone's patience as we work through this. A view from up above shows the extent of the damage as cars were left stuck and had to be towed away. The ocean crested over the sand dunes, pushing more sand into the parking lot, several feet of sand. It was up to really the door handle on an SUV that was parked there overnight. St. Lucie County spokesman Eric Gill says it will take a few months before it reopens. In order to start repairs, the county must first get the green light from state and federal agencies. Our coastal engineer is working with Florida Power and Light as well as our state partners to get the permits we need and the right of way to go in there and try and put that sand back on the beach. In the meantime, work is already being done to see if there is an opportunity to designate another beach for furry friends to enjoy. If we do another temporary pet friendly beach, we need to make sure that the use is compatible with the other activities taking place at that location and that we have enough ample parking. Now, in addition to Walton Rocks, the North Causeway Island Park also sustained some damage due to Nicole, but that park is set to open up tomorrow. But the boat ramp there will remain closed to undergo a major expansion project that county officials say will take about a year to complete. Reporting along Hutchinson Island, I'm Kemmerer Leppinger.